so I don't want to break it down, I can hit them to the mat right here. I get this arm through right here. I end up on top of them. Uh, I mean, once you're pretty, once we get to this point right here, it's hard. What I can, all I can really do is pop that off and then try to fight and then try to try to scramble up. Gotcha. Like so many things, don't let them complete the figure four. Mm -hmm. If they complete the figure four, you're in a lot worse trouble. So a lot of times, if you can just keep them from completing their actual final part of their figure four, you might go wiggle out of there. Mm -hmm. gotcha. All right, next one. So I get in the leg right here. So the more experienced you are, the harder it is for me to just get right here and put that leg in because he's going to grab it yeah. right there. And elbow to knee defense, right? Elbow to knee defense. Right. So as Jeff tries to put his leg in, what's mm -hmm. exactly? So you have to be a little tricky. So a lot of times I just uh, do either a spiral ride yeah. or I'm jamming. I'll go right here, thigh cry, and get his weight forward. Now that his weight is forward, I slip that in. Right. Now I get into this one. I'll get high and I'll get my my uh, half notes in right here. That is the king of rides, in my opinion. Mm, you good? In yeah. MMA, because you know what he look what he's doing here, right? He's controlling. This is the holy grail of rides because he's going to control one shoulder and the countervailing hip. So if you're going to control this hip, you need to control that shoulder. If you're controlling this shoulder, you need to control the other side, other quarter. Draw a diagonal line across the back. It's the king of rods. So, anyway, I'm staying high right here. The, the key is for me to keep my head, hips up high right here and cover his hips. Once I start getting down right here, you can pop that through and he's mm -hmm. on top of me. So I don't want my hip on the So I want to stay up right here, right? Mm -hmm. Now, get my half Nelson right here and I'll just pop. And I basically tuck his head under, he'll roll like this. We end up like that, I get my figure four, right? Mm -hmm. And now I'm right here. Mm -hmm. Right, in MMA, if you are got him down right here, you can hold that also. I go right here. You can do the, uh, the twister. Mm -hmm. Or if he, if he loses it, if I lose it, he starts getting up. I belly down with him. Come up right here. Oh. You good? Yeah. Hopefully I'll get a sip some of that right here. And now come in right here. Is that enough? Start again? Yeah. So you can see that right here. So the two things I either do is I either jam him like this or I go to my spiral right on the opposite side. Are you all familiar with the spiral ride? Uh, vaguely. Buddy, that is a critical ride. The spiral ride. Yeah, I <laughs> sure Train them up on the spiral, Jeff. They gotta learn that. That's a critical one. Alright. Let me try to get out of this. This is the greatest ride American wrestling has ever given us. Mm -hmm. Yes. And it sets by it by far. Yeah. And I can't count how many guys I pride them right down to their ass. The spiral ride is awesome. Alright. So for the spiral ride, I get my shoulder all the way right here, and I grab his, his lap. Now I go inside right here, and I get, get his thigh right here. Pry, you pry upward on the thigh. And now I got, I got the thigh right here. I'm rotating, 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 and spreading him apart. Yeah, and you can sit him down. He's right here. You can lay him down just like that. So quite often. Now that he's broken down, I cover the hips and belly. Either in wrestling, he um, try to belly down. Yeah. In MMA, he tries to get to his back. Mm -hmm. But he might belly down in order to explosively get his hips up. Right. Like, in American wrestling, it's illegal to lock your hand. When you're in a dominant position, mm -hmm. so and if Jeff, if they get behind you on your spiral, Jeff, it is illegal in American wrestling for Jeff to lock his hands. Mm -hmm. In freestyle and, and uh, Greco, of course, it's common. But if Jeff locks, even touches his hands, you even lay your hands over in American wrestling. The only way that you can lay your hands over is if I have his hands yep. touch like this. Exactly. That is the only way your hands can touch. And because of that rule. 
Um, that that is really where the spiral ride was born. Mm. As a control ride. Right here, here on my toes, rotate, rotate, rotate. If he wants to go like that, I can pop my leg here. Right here. Mm -hmm. And one thing that's so great about the spiral ride is it's a great way to ground is to ride and pound. Because when you get you start riding in on that thigh, you got the other hand to punch with. Jeff, put put your hand in on the thigh. And so he's got the underhook on that side. So he's lurched his man forward and felt the dude have to brace. He can now let go of the shoulder and give him a couple dukes. And as you're riding that thigh, you got the underhook, wham, wham, you just put it right back in. You know what I'm saying? You, you can feel the way he's lurching around. When, when, you've got, when you've got a guy in a good spiral ride, you can feel how hard his shoulders are coming down. All right, let's try it out this. Yes. Um, yeah, if you can, if you can shuck them forward. No, the draw one over here. Spiral. Careful, careful. You're not right, but you're choking. You're choking. Well, you know, here for starters, <laughs> for starters, you go go under the go under the arm. Yeah, go under the arm. You got shit control that way anyway. Just his neck, he can. Yeah. Just the neck isn't a lot of control. Getting under that shoulder, now you got a whole shoulder complex. And once again, you got the countervailing hip. You see how you put your put your leg in? Awesome. So I'm like this. No, you want to go under. So get the shoulder. And go over, just for starters, go over the back of his head like this. Now you're going to reach across and get the countervailing hip over. Go over the back. Yeah, and you're going to come up with your hips. You're going to rise your hips up. Get on your toes. Sag backward. Don't lean forward. I, I like your hips lower than your shoulders. And I like you running your, your, your body around this way just a little bit more. And now, reach into the, his thigh. Grip into that muscle. And yeah, go over the area. There you go. Now you've got a pretty good spiral ride. you got a pretty good spiral ride. And it, it is the key. The king of American wrestling rides. And it's here. It's the greatest gift we've ever given to um, mixed martial arts because you can punch. Once you get good at that spiral ride, you can feel you can feel the man's upper body and give him a few dukes. Yeah, the greatest thing here, you know, if you get a guy, uh, go forward, John. Um, if you get a guy, if you feel his him, him bracing down there, now you let go here and give him a couple punches. So you've got him pried up. Now, if he starts getting squirrely on you, you go right back in and try, oh, you feel him break down, you can give him a few more punches. So that could be, that's one of the things about the spiral ride that is so so effective, but a problem, you can get in trouble reaching over too far, under too far, and getting grabbed and pulled under. Right? Pull me under. under. Pull this arm underneath you. And see, boom, come over on top of me. That's that's the work, yeah, you see, you get, if you get too greedy with that underhook, you couldn't get pulled under. Gotcha. So that's why you gotta sag back. Mm -hmm. That sag is critically important to sag your hips back. Like this, Yes, but now, now, Junior, can you pull his arm underneath? Let, yeah. Yeah, Junior should try to pull that arm underneath. And that will that that will prove to you whether or not you're too high. If he can pull you underneath him, you're gonna you're gonna go and you're gonna land right in front of him. That's bad news. Yeah. 
Okay, just pull that arm down, Joe. Try to loop your head up, pop your head out. Yeah, you feel that? There you go. You gotta try exactly. Now turn, spin, get your hips up and out. That's kind of that's that. Yeah, there you go. Now you rise your hips up, right? You're in a much better position than you were. That'd be the yeah. That's a good idea, Jane. Oh, you should have let him pull that guy. Yeah, that's exactly. That's exactly what you need to do. When you feel that grip coming up under your arm and trying to get on your head, look up and away. Look up and away. Reach up and hand fight them and look up and away. Because if they get you hunkered down, they got a lot of control. It's a bad spot. A good spiral ride is, is really nuts. And they're bam, bam, bam. They're changing a lot really fast. I freaking love it. How are the Pender County kids, Jeff? Horrible. Suck. Okay. Fucking horrible. Wow, that bad? Fucking what happened? Horrible. They don't listen. Something bad happened? Nah. Thought you all were here a little early today. <laughs> but it ain't over, is it? I'm about, I'm about sick of it. What, is, the, is their season over? Or they got any more matches? I don't know. Yeah. I mean, their season's not over, but it might as well be. I got you. You just got laziness. Yeah. Good, Junior. Yeah. Nice, nice. Nice adjustment. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna be, you're gonna be tough with that, Junior, because your length. Uh, your length. You're gonna be able to we, uh, uh, lace in deeply. Long guys. This is a good one for them. Cause you got a lot of lacing up. When that when that leg uh, when that arm goes in, it feels like pretty tentacle, real deep with a tall guy. Because you don't want him being able to crawl away from you. Yeah. And, and if he if he turns into you, if he turns into you, you might be able to pin him right there. So make sure you got shoulders. You gotta have at least one shoulder he can turn away and spin over on top of you, Junior. See, he's thinking about coming over on top of you. Dad's ah, oh, he got got your hips down. Good work. You felt him turning, Junior, didn't you? Yeah. See, as he, if, he, if you would have let him turn much more, he would have come over on top of you. The way you bailed and covered no, no, no. your hips, perfect. Huh? Oh, he's tapping. Crank shit, I can do. Man, even gonna give you a chance to crank it. That's my favorite one. Step over, Sangaku, buddy. It's murder. I think it's the most dominant position in MMA. My personal favorite.
Those high hips, yeah, attacking that leg, it's great, Joe. That is a brilliant reaction to it. Anytime you see a leg posted up in front of you like that, fold it, fold it. And you can see them, a lot of times, like here, come on, Andrew, you're going to hurt. If that leg steps up, you can post on that sucker, and you don't have to necessarily pull it in. It's a really great strategy just to hold on to it and then drive your body over it. Because a lot of times you'll come in. Here, come back up. You'll come in. You'll see that leg come up. And you'll be like, ah, 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 ah. And damn it, he's strong here. He's posting well. I mean, I, and the way his, his foot's dug in there, I'm going to have a really hard time pulling that up. But I can, hopefully, grab it, hold it, and then drive my body over it. That's a really good, like, um, block theory, you know? Don't think you got to pull it to you. Hold it and drive your body over it. Yeah, man, I love it. That's a really helpful mentality in there. Use it as your own post. Yeah, yeah, you literally drag it underneath you. Well, you can't drag it underneath you. You literally post it and drive over it. Yeah. Because you're using your body, your, your hip drive, much stronger than what your arms can do. Yeah. Same shoulder? Yeah. We gotta, we gotta get the judo stuff going. Judo? Yeah. Well, you see any competitions? I don't know. You said a couple in the middle of the shooting? I don't know. Yeah. I think we were shooting for this Christmas. No, I didn't. No. You gotta get a competition. I don't want to stand here next year doing this. No, we just gotta get you to do a competition. Find me one. Yeah. Well, they're in the north. They're all in the yeah. northeast or midwest. That's keeping that for you, huh? Yeah. I mean, well, that's a road trip situation. They'll, they'll come to North Carolina. Maybe once every couple years. Okay. They have, a, they have the tournament every year out here. Where? No. Uh, Rock. Well, where? So, uh, they, they have state championships every year. Over there, in, I think it's. You were telling me about it. Not, but not the last two years. It has fallen through. We could take you up to faith. They got uh, Quimby's up there. They got what? Quimby. Is he kind of an asshole? Yes, he's a major asshole. Yeah. I'd like to go through Steve Scott, but that's going to be... Me too, but he's in fucking Pennsylvania. Just a stare. Sometimes that's in your neck. They could be up in your neck too. I don't know, it's hit. It keeps on getting lower every time. What is it? It keeps on getting lower. Right here, right here now. Oh, that's good. That's good. Well, yeah, it's way better than having uh, anything like that. Yeah, way better. 
Not the boxing gloves. Yeah, figure. Oh my god. You realize we're just tapping, right? We're not like yeah, yeah. one. It's actually a really great idea to always roll with MMA gloves. Yeah. Just because you can reach across and just touch your guy. Just touch, just barely touch him. And it just reminds them that they're vulnerable to what they're doing. You can't stay there, you know. Sometimes, you know, I look down at guys, I'm like, hey, what do you think? You know, you could be hit here. But a lot of these, you know, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu especially, they don't care. They don't even think about it. It's not a, it's not a thing to them. Something to work keep in mind a little bit. Not, not as much as I should. It is my opinion. It's critical. Always maintain superior striking position. Junior, man, come on out of there. Get those hips out. Get those hips down and out. Hips down and out. You can turn your back on him as long as you get your hips out. It's like the Derek Lewis stand up. Just roll over and stand up. Try it out. Just don't let him get his legs in. Don't let him arm bar you. Turn. You can turn away from him. I right, don't let that leg come over. <laughs> you good? Yeah, I'm good. That's it. Let me try to Yeah, you can turn your back on a man as long as you don't let him get his legs in. position is fantastic in MMA. Turn in. Oh, man. Good. Yeah, because of the location. It's yeah, I'm glad it was down here. No, no, <laughs> way better. The further it is, you got big important nerve complexes oh, up in your neck. The first thing. Yeah, that's that's bad because that's you got big important nerve complexes up there. Down lower, that's just neuromuscular. That's expendable. Take your left hand, yeah. put it, put it on his knee. I've had a long <laughs> time <laughs> neck. Yeah. Push neck, back injury. Oh. Oh, I got kicked right in the clavicle one time. Man, it's all it's hurt ever since. Man, that's amazing. That is actually covered. No, I mean just vaguely and barely. But these, these real, these. Yeah, those, those, that's a, those, those were on special. But they're a little bit cheaper version of these. But they'll hold up. Oh, they will with, with wiggles? Yeah, it comes up to the right hand. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, wow. They're extra large. Oh, it helps. I like to have a Shoto set, too, the thick ones. So, you know, they are they're way more comfortable than you can. Especially if you want to go a little heavier. See, I don't know if you should have kept holding on to that head, Dad. 
you had a chance to get your hips out, but you held on to his head instead. is actually hurting you. Like mm -hmm. Dad, if you can if you break your half guard and get get out on that side, you got an advantage. So sometimes it ain't a good idea to hold on to half guard. It ain't the best. Back in the middle. Yeah. Uh, yeah. A reset. Remember, if you stay down there, just hold on and not do any other the referees. Are yeah, that. and that is a strategy. You might say, "Hey, I don't want, I don't want to try to grapple with this guy. I'm just going to hold on." Let's let's talk about legs in for it. Do you want to take a, bit, a breather here? Jeff, cover me, will you? So I can turn my back. See, you got full mount, and I'm I'm in terrible trouble as I turn my back on this man. The worst thing I can allow to happen is him to get his leg in. And he's trying right now. I can feel that leg coming in. So the, I'm not all the way. I haven't turned my back all the way yet, but I'm thinking about it. Now, the shoulder ride he's getting, I've got to try to feel my way through here. So as I turn my back, I'm putting my hips on the ground so he can't get his legs in. He might get an idea to hit me. But if he does, then that's my chance. That was my chance. I'm down here, he's holding on tight. He's got a good grip on me. If he, if I, so if, let's say he's got a good, a good grip on me. I, I, I'm not, I can hold on to his hands, try to relax, kind of bump him a little bit, make him nervous. But it, well, the moment he rears up to hit me, that I gotta go. So now I raised my hips up. I just can't let him get his legs in. So I've got to be super cognizant about legs coming in. And I'm watching, I'm watching. And now because I got my hips up and my elbows are close to my knees, I got something. I got something. I might be able to actually raise him right up over and drive him off of me by pulling his pulling his uh, arm over. And now, because I got my weight driven on him, I might be able to just step over and run out of that guard into a dominant position. But the killer, the killer is, if I let him get that leg in, the worst mistake I can make is as I'm trying to come up, that leg comes in. Boy, I'm, I'm gonna get worn out I'm going to be super tired. He's going to drive me right back down. And I'm in a terrible position. When that leg comes in, I'm actually better off rolling to face him. And now see what happened. My legs are free again. I'm in trouble because he can hit me. But at least I got my legs free. And I can maybe roll right back in. But I got my hips down. Feeling your... Feeling your dick on the mat, it's a wonderful feeling because you finally got your hips free. Now the answer is, I got to come up on this devil and I can't let him get his legs in. So as I do it, I'm going to sneak my knee and elbow close together and try to push up. And I'm ready. I'm looking. My hands are up. My elbows are up. And I'm trying to keep him from getting leg control. Now he's, he's been aggressive here. He went ahead and snatched this leg, but I can pull up and hit a sit out. At that point, I'm ready to run now. I'm, I couldn't be happier because I got the son of a bitch off of me and I could probably just turn in and get legs. 
A lot of times, that's the game you're playing. Don't let him get that leg in. And it is not, it is not a sin to turn your back in full mount. As long as, one more time, please. As long as you got a plan. So he's got crooked cross side. You'll see guys doing this. Oh man, <laughs> this is an amateur mistake. Mm -hmm. He's scooting a little bit this way, would you go? So he, uh, amateur mistake, right? Because I'm turning away from him. This is, yeah, this is the classic case we see. This is the worst case scenario. Mm -hmm. Amateur mistake. But I was, I'm not an amateur. I, I did this shit on purpose. What I'm going to do is I'm going to look up. I'm going to turn in. And I'm going to come in. Now, I got legs. I turned in. The Peterson. It's the Peterson theory. You literally, you can turn your back as long as you don't let them get their legs in. Mm -hmm. The moment the leg comes in, roll back over. Get your crotch flat down on the mat again. That is, that is really, that's usually... The leg lace game. Yeah. Did you, hear, did you hear about Gardner? Who? Gardner. Yeah, yeah. He's not going to be able to do much. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Raise the Kai Alp and, uh, I mean, is Lopez still competing? Yeah, as far as I know. Oh, I mean, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't feel like he's going to be able to do much. But, hey, it's sentimental. It's going to be nice to see him try. Rulon Gardner is America's last... Gold medal in Greco. That was a while ago. Long time ago, yeah. You want to do a technique video before we go, Jeff? Uh, I'm going to head out. Okay, you got somewhere to go? Yeah. All right. See you Wednesday? See you, yeah, I'll be here Wednesday. Wednesday? Yeah, well, let's do a little plot here. We got a minute. Honey, will you shoot a video? Or oh, you don't want to do this, the, the turn in, the Peterson in? What do you want to work on? I don't know, preference. Let's do that. Let's do the rest of the thing. Yeah. This, this, this is important. Okay, so come on in and cover me, Junior. So I've got, you saw earlier, you got full mount. Okay, yeah. Now, of course, hey, could your knees touch? You can almost get a mount. Some people cannot mount me. It's the solid to It's a secret advantage. But now, so he's going to hit me. I, I'm naturally, we're always going to be fighting for this. You've posted your legs up, and you're going to turn your back. You're going to turn your back on the man. But I'm going to do it in such a way that I'm threatening to pull him over. Threatening to pull him over. As I go over, I'm trying to threaten and make him think I got a plan. Now that my hips are down, the critical part is when I bring my hips up. If I bring my hips up, Poorly, he gets his legs in. That's it. Total loss. Total loss. So when I'm ready to pull my hips in, I've got to kind of shrimp. I got to get my hands somewhat free. And when I come in, boom, I'm trying to get my elbow and knee together. Over here as well. See, he's getting that one in. I'm going to kick that out. Kick that out. And now. Now I got something. I got something here. So the best thing, the best thing I could possibly get is a roll. If I can get something underneath and get him off his hips, then I'm, you know, he's still on my back, but you don't have a weight advantage anymore. Mm -hmm. Then the greatest thing you can do really then is you gotta beat, you gotta beat this pesky leg. <laughs> that pesky leg. These things. That's your number one trouble. You gotta get these legs off of you. Turn, turn in real quick. So I got my hips up before he got his up. I'm happy. And so that's really the name of the game. So once you've turned your back on somebody, getting out really means being able to put your elbow or your knee, elbow, mm. and your knee together. So go flat on your stomach. Are you ready? Well, let me demo one more time, then. You want to record that? Or? No, yeah, Josh, uh, Joseph, you hop on my back again. Okay. 
I thought you were shooting that. <laughs> I was my phone. Uh, I kept going. <laughs> Three, two, one. Okay, worst case scenario is I've been fully mounted. And turning your back is a, it, it works, but only if you do it a certain way. Naturally, I've got to be cognizant of getting hit, but he's got to be worried about me getting away. So if I can shove him off and shrimp over, I actually have a decent chance of escaping. As long as I don't let him get his legs out. Now the critical thing for me to do is to get my hips off the mat without him getting his legs in. So I'm looking on each side and feeling, trying to figure out where I got my best shot. And when I'm ready to go, I've got to pop my hip up and get my knee and elbow, knee and elbow together. And he's really close to this side. So maybe I gotta pop him over and do the other one. It worked. If you can see on this side, I was now able to get up to power position and I got my knee and elbow together. He is dangerous on my other side, but because I've got this, I now have something called a Peterson opportunity. Now I can actually get my hips through turn in and grab his legs and reverse reverse the position with an inside turn. All because I was able to get my hips up off the mat and not let him get a leg in. Right, good one. All right, good try. All right. Full, full mount, right? You got to hurt it all the way through. All right, good luck, buddy. If it gets heavy, you just... Tell me, okay? Three, two, one. Now you commit the biggest risk of turning your back on me. Try to make sure when you do, I can't get my leg in. So go flat on your stomach. Now you feel your hips are safe on either side. You feel a really dangerous, really dangerous leg over here. Mm -hmm. This might not be your escape route. I feel your elbow digging in here and now making contact with your knee. Now get that one up too. You are now in power position. You've got yourself up off the mat and I haven't got a leg in. Now look underneath. What do you see? Exactly. Pull that underneath for a full, full reversal of fortune. All because he did let me get the leg in. Let's go on. All right. Dad and Josh. Do you require any more? Yeah, do theirs. This is this is the this is like the instructional. Okay. On. Three, two, one. Okay. Joe has got to get this man off of him, but we're going to turn our back. We're going to do it in a smart way, and we're going to make sure legs don't come in because that's the critical aspect. Buck your man wants. Get some body lock action so he can't hit you so well. And grab around his body so he can't hit you so well. Okay. Now you've got an opportunity to turn to your belly. Reach one of your arms underneath and turn to your belly. You can reach right, yeah, okay. Now, the criti now here's the killer. Here's the criti critical part. If you can snatch his arms or, or encumber them in any way, do it. And now feel your hips. You might even want to bay him. And as you raise one, you feel the heels start to come in. And then, on the other side, you're going to get your elbow and your knee together and raise that hip up. Oh, now kick it out, kick it out. Oh, there it is, there it is. Okay, stop. Stop. You got it. You now keep this elbow and knee together and look, look, 
right down in between your legs. You see his leg over there? You see that leg over there? Okay, he's got it laced in. So you're going to have to kick your leg out, get that out of there. Boom. Okay, now you reach in, Peterson, pull. Come over in a superior position. Exactly, exactly. And it's all predicated on not getting laced. That leg lace is the killer. So buck and grab. Go slower, go slower. Yeah, that's Josh. You know, Josh knows this. He's our, re he's my wrestler. <laughs> he's our wrestler. He knows what to do. Peterson in, Peterson in, just Peterson. Just turn in the other way. Would have been easier to turn the other way. Look down between your crotch. You'll see his leg right there. Peterson. Stop as soon as you get your hips up. Let, let him crawl on top of you a little bit. Okay, stop. Okay, okay, okay. Where, where is the knee and elbow connection? Knee and elbow connection is achieved. There it is. There it is. Okay. Now we're going to have to kick this leg back. Now, you're going to Peter sit in and grab this sucker. And now pull it right underneath you as you drive forward. Get that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That leg will be dangling there. It'll be dangling there. On your blocked side, you'll kick that out, and you'll see that lace leg dangling. Grab that lace leg, and just like we were doing earlier, don't pull it underneath you. Just grab it and drive your body across it. One more time. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, Jane. One more time. Full mount, worst case scenario. Come on, Dad, get on. Okay, so he's going to boost you once. Turn, and I need, I need the hips flat on the ground. All right, now you're going to try to put an elbow and a knee together without him getting a lace leg. Oh, there it is. That was slick. Now, come on up. No, 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 no. Just come on up. Push those hips up. Okay, stop. Stop. Now, you see, yeah, look look underneath. Look underneath. You see that? Reach under, grab it, pull it under, and drive. Yes, sir. You're beautiful. Wrestling for MMA. Good work, guys. Excellent. Whew. Nice one. That's a good one. That's going to be a good video. How's the shoulder? Yeah, it's a lot better. Yeah. It's sensitive, dude. Shoulder injuries. Third game the third time tonight. Right? Shoulder injuries are sensitive. Third, oh, third stinger tonight. Yeah, it was, it was the third cramp tonight. I put some ice on it. Jeff can be a beast. But it weren't really Jeff's fault. No, no, no. But he, he is, he is, uh, he's strong on the cranks. I like that. If you can get away from Jeff, you can get away from anybody. Yeah. He can stick to you, boy. I met very few wrestlers that anybody want to go and around because they ride back so well. Just like that. No. Okay. Sure. All right. Okay. Let them have a little more of the center. We okay, can go corner. No, no, you guys are good. Just yeah, you got plenty of space. I just ain't trained in two weeks, and I'm good. No, no, no. Yeah, get it, get it, get it all the time. Two jabs. Cross. Oh, let's see. Oh, no, that's right. Two jabs. Cross it, cross it. Shoot that cross like a piston. Yeah. So, yeah, get those legs out. Turn your back. Get down to the ground. See if you can base out. He's good at lacing legs.
Yeah, you gotta, you gotta beat those legs at the same time you fi aren't fighting arms. There you go, there you go, there you go. And there's no shame in turning your back as long as you turn back before he gets the legs laced. You can turn your back on a guy as long as you don't get laced. 